six fragrances that leave a trail. Strong one, bombs, you name it. Because you asked and I deliver. I had a poll on my YouTube uh, in the community section, I think it is, and you guys voted voted that that one should be my next video and here I am doing it. There were a bunch of others and I will do each and every of those options. It won't just be this one. And by the way, why six? What's with this number? Well, I had more, obviously more than six. There are more strong fragrances in my collection, but there were too many. So I decided to maybe do two or maybe even three parts of videos like this one. Uh, we'll see how that goes. So we have six for today. Not five, not ten, six. Six will do. So if you want everyone to be able to smell you, if you don't want to just go by unnoticed, if you want people to smell you through their masks, yeah, that's a thing. If you want to do damage, <laughs> Wait, where am I going with this? Uh, these fragrances can do that. So that's why I'm saying pay attention to the amount, please. Don't spray too much. And of course, it's a lot about the environment you're going to. Like, if you're going to the office, you know how that goes. If you're going to a friend's house or if you're going outside. And I think the most dangerous one is if you're going to be in a car with several people. That's... That can do the most damage, especially if you're going to travel for a while. So yeah, you see, I mean, you can you can start with maybe one spray with some and end up, sky's the limit. Enough talk, let's get into the perfumes. So in no particular order, this is not a top like the weakest of the strongest and then the most, no, this is not like that. They're all strong, they're all beasts in different ways. The first one is B by zoologist. So the question is, do you want to be covered in sticky, sweet, thick honey? Do you? The answer, the right answer is yes, I want to be. <laughs> because if you don't want to be, you don't get this one. You have to love honey because this is honey. This is not just honey, like this is everything about the beehive. Uh, I think that's the name of it. Like. It's like you're inside of it. Uh, it's about also about the flowers. This has like pretty, yeah, this has like that dense flower smell inside because obviously honey is made from flowers, flower pollen. But anyway, uh, enough about that one. This, this here, if you love honey, this is a must. You must try it. You might love it, you might hate it, you might think it's too much. And what I get from it, is pretty realistic, like maybe a bit too realistic. <laughs> it's as if I'm there. Um, because usually with, with perfumes, with fragrances, I feel like um, it's not always about giving you like the perfect representation of something like chocolate. As a, a chocolate fragrance won't be exactly like sniffing chocolate. But this is represents the, the, the idea of be perfectly. This is strong. This might kill you if you don't pay attention. So I recommend that you pay attention. And uh, when you want to get rid of it, because maybe it's too much. And again, with all of these fragrances, do not spray close to your nose, to your face too much. Because it can become too much. It can make you sick. I know it happens to me. I don't know about you. Maybe you're not as sensitive as I am. And maybe you don't have that problem. But if you want to get rid of it, you won't be able to get rid of it. It stays on you forever. It projects. It has great performance overall. And yes, it leaves a trail. Are you ready to have your nostrils burnt? You must be ready for this next one because it can do that. Herba Pura from Serzhov. And thank you to that person who said you're not pronouncing Serzhov as you should as I am now, I think I'm pronouncing it right right now. Uh, I was, I think, saying Xerzhov or maybe Zerzhov or something of that sort. Anyway, it's a good thing they did. Uh, so this can do damage. It's dangerous. Um, it's great for summer. 
it's great for spring. It can be great for those because it's so fruity and so exotic. Um, it's a pretty happy scent, but it's also pretty strong. It's also pretty synthetic, but I think it's meant to be that way. I think it's meant to be synthetic. I mean, this is not trying to recreate like the smell of a true um, fruit cocktail. This is not that, at least in my opinion. Yeah, this is supposed to burn a little bit. It's supposed to just hit, hit hard. Um, again, as I said with the other one, don't spray too close to your face, blah, blah, blah. You know the drill. Um, when I was spraying this one, I imagined the fruits inside kind of like being insane, trying to escape the bottle because this is how this thing smell. And yes, it projects. It's pretty insane when it comes to performance, sillage, um, longevity. Yeah, go for this one if you want that. But if you're looking for a cheaper alternative for Erba Pura, because yes, it's quite pricey, I would say it's not identical. It's not a perfect dupe or anything like that, but it kind of has the same vibe. And I feel like it's not as synthetic as Erba Pura and probably around four times cheaper. Jardin Exclusive from Mancera. Next is a scent that I never spoke about here on my channel because it's quite recent. Also, the one I mentioned just before, Jardin Exclusive from Mancera, I did not speak about, and I will have these both in my next haul, but I couldn't wait to present them to you in my next haul, which will be probably next month, and I wanted to put them in this video as well. So the scent I'm talking about is Seminalis from Orto Parisi. It's my first fragrance from this brand and it's quite captivating. Yes, of course it's here because it performs, but the smell is, is quite hard to describe. It's, it's extremely, extremely complex. To me, it smells like a lot of things so on my skin, this develops quite lactonic, so it smells kind of milky, but also has a little bit of a metallic smell, a little bit sharp, yet a little bit sweet. It smells a little bit like almonds. Uh, it's not extremely, how to say, um, you need to try it before you buy it, okay? It's not extremely mass-pleasing, I would say. It's quite weird. It's quite, I mean, for me, it's beautiful, but I can see how some people could hate this because I think this is quite polarizing. Um, it's not extremely known either, I think. I mean, of course, in the fragrance community, all of these fragrances are talked about, but by people who are not necessarily into niche and things like that, probably this is like a big, like, huh? What is this? Um, so yes, this one performs. This one stays on your skin for an eternity. I remember the first time I sprayed it on my on my hand right here, and I washed my hand several times, and it was still there. And I think it was on my skin. Even if I washed my hands more than once, definitely more than once, it will. It was until the next day. So I think almost 24 hours, which is crazy, crazy. And yes, this is pretty loud. This one projects. Uh, again, do test it. I don't think this is a blind buying material. This glorious vanilla projects like none other. It's Annie by Nishane. This top had to include Annie by Nishane because this one is just so strong. So, so strong. If you love the scent, because if you don't love it, you will not be able to get rid of it. This, this simply amazing citrusy vanilla with spices can be too much for some. Like I was saying, if you don't like it and you want to just scrub it off, you will not be able to do that. I mean, of course, you can use showers and substances and such and such, but that's not the point. So this is an overdose of, of sweetness and, and citruses and, and those spices, those beautiful spices. And you will leave this gorgeous, this addictive trail behind you. Yeah, this is amazing. If you want something strong, test this one and get it because there are not many like this one out there. 
Next, we got a scent from Mansera. So basically another Mansera, even though the first Mansera I spoke about today is not really in the top, it's just like an honorable mention, let's say. But this one is no honorable mention. This one is, is something. Red Tobacco is one of the greatest from Mansera, in my opinion. Of course, not necessarily the best for me. Maybe I have some other preference to put in my top three. I'm not, but this is definitely my top five. This one is loud. This one screams. Um, the only problem you might have with it is the beginning. Like the first minutes with this one can be a little bit harsh. If you can get over that, I mean, I personally don't have a problem with it, but I did hear people complaining about it. This slaps you in the face. <laughs> at first, and a lot of the scents in this top do that because obviously they begin strong and then they keep on being strong uh, in the next hours. So this one, um, what I get from it, there is a slight sweetness in here, thank God. Otherwise, I'm not sure how I would have handled this one. So I do get, obviously, tobacco. I do get wood. I do get some saffron. I'm not even sure if this one has saffron in it. But yes, yes. So there's definitely wood, but the wood I think is quite wearable. It's not too much. There is some vanilla in the background, just like supporting things and, you know, making this a little bit friendlier and nicer. And yes, this one performs. This one leaves a trail and the trail is better than what you get when you simply put your nose on the patch of skin you sprayed this on. So this is, I think, like a secret, a tip with this one. Uh, it's about the trail. The beauty is in the trail with this one. And uh, yes, it performs. It stays on your skin for, I don't know, nine, 10 hours, something. On your clothes for even longer, obviously. So yes, a beautiful beast. And we got to the last scent we're going to talk about today. And this one again, crazy strong. The trail. Insane. Wood Satin Mood by MFK. This is one of my favorite rose scents. And yes, this is a rose and wood combination, but what I get from it, uh, I don't get a lot of wood. Like the wood is there, but it's not really playing the main role. Um, so I do get this syrupy rose, like that, um, that rose that is, you find it in the, in the Middle East. Is that type of rose. Then I get a lot of violet and I do get the vanilla with this one. And yes, there is that wood in the background. Um, should I say it performs? I said it already. It performs like crazy. It's, it's so long lasting and it projects. And I think the trail this one leaves is so, so sexy so intoxicating. This is perfect for winter. I would not dare to use this one in the summer right now, although I did it in the past, I have to confess. When I bought this one, the first bottle, because this is the second, when I bought my first bottle of this, it was, I think it was the beginning of spring. So yeah, I did use it that summer for a few times. Uh, but now, yes, I am uh, much wiser right now and I will not do it. And you shouldn't do it either. <laughs> but seriously, this one, again, a beast. A beast, and I totally, totally recommend it. These were my beasts for the day. Thank you for watching. Uh, tell me your beasts. I would like to know what you put on when you want everyone else to be able to smell you. <laughs> and especially now that everyone is masked. Yeah, that helps. Um, yeah, guys, I'll see you next time for another video. Bye-bye.